सो हाई एवरी वन नीन मे आर एंड मेरे चूस ट्रेड वित् एडी यूट्यूब झानल सो चानल के एवरना फस्ट टाइम वस्ते दयचे सब्सक्रैबे चुस्को अं बेलैकन आनको सो दट नए वीडियो वन अच्छे नोटिकेशन वस्ते चाल मे चूसी वेल्लिपतारे कंट नचुत कदा डेफिट लैक सब्सक्रैबर चेने कोलाबरेटेड वीडियो इंका तेगल वालमार मन कोलाबरेट कम्यूनिटी तो कोलाबरेट इतम चूस्तारा अना रावाल षेर चयें दयचे षेर चयें अंत एवर ट्रेड लेकिन षेर चेक मंदी की फैमिल ग्रूप अंदर चूस्तर षेरिंग एक्वे व्यूस एक् मंच लैक्स एक् सो दटे वाली फील वस्तदा बहुत इंका इलां कोलाबरेशन चेयर फील वस्तु ओके इध पार्ट टू ई हॉप पार्ट वन चूस सर की अर्थम उदो बेसीक वीरा इंग्ली तो नाटाड़ा अटे बेसीक इंग्ली अंडी एंटे जॉब माने आलमोस्ट फोर फाइव इयर्स अत ग्रिप इंग्लीश एयरपोर्ट होदो कोई इपूद बेसीक इंग्ली नवकोकं दयचे इंग्ली चूसी अद रिक्वेस्ट सो इ पार्ट टू पार्ट टू लगे ओके आये एम चारो चूँ सीरीज तस्ता डोंट वरी Uh, there is a one specific data that we have. Okay. So uh, probably we all have seen the uh, you know order book, right? Yeah, order book. And uh, I want to ask you for uh, is there any swing positions like we can carry forward? Any yeah, we can. We will talk about this. We'll oh, talk okay. About this. Okay. So let me cover this one. Then we'll talk about that. Also. Okay. So. One is basically we have a order book, right? Okay, so when we see order book data, we have five best buying options, five best selling options. Selling options, sir. The total, right? Yeah, total. So generally, what happens? The basic economic rule says when the buyers are high, the market should move up. Yes, move. When the sellers are high, the market should fall, right? Fall. Okay. The logic, uh, the logic is good. Okay, that logic should be remain like this. But actually, it doesn't happen in the real market. Real market, I know. Right. So why it doesn't happen? Because when we see the, uh, you know, the order book, it doesn't. It only includes the limit orders. Okay. But if you see, there are a lot of people who are placing the market orders. Yes. So you don't have a real picture. Yeah. Right. And second thing, there are people, uh, who are placing the IUC orders also. Immediate okay. or cancel orders. Yeah, cancel so, order. Okay. So they have a specific uh, argument that if you place a, a IUC order, that immediate or cancel order. So if you place a buy order, you get a seller. Your trade will get executed. Execute. Yeah. You don't get it. It will cancel. Yeah, cancel. The order get cancel. It will not go in the pending order list. Okay. So that means you will never have a IUC order in the order. Okay. Right. So that means that order book is not giving you clear picture. Yeah. So that's why uh, order book never gives you any directional view about the market, or it doesn't give you any picture about the market. Yeah. But what we have done is we have extracted lot of data from the order book, and we have okay. created a few indicators out of it. Okay. Uh, and it is a uh, real time data from NSC only. Okay. Okay. So NSC is our client also. Oh. So so we have created this this whole data for NSC actually, right? Okay. And we are also using this for our trading purpose. Okay. Okay. So now I'll show you. If you plot a chart, if you open a order and trade chart here, okay. Okay. Now you can simply see the. I'll open Nifty or Bank. Ah, oh, yeah, Nifty or Bank. This this data is actually useful for index trading. I would say. Okay. Right? And I'll show you very very small time scalping, like uh, probably very small time frame, right? Okay. Okay. So we'll use one minute chart. Now, see, this is the full day movement of today. market. Yeah, today market. Okay. 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 But when to take a trade, we are not aware. Okay. How we'll buy, we are not. Aware. So, how we'll use the data? We'll add two indicators. So, if you write Q hyphen in this, okay. Q so as soon as okay. you write Q hyphen in the order book, you will see that almost like. Thirty, forty indicators which we have created. Q minus Q means a uh, quant chart. So we okay. have all we have created all these indicators. Okay. So I will use two only indicators as of now: the buyer initiated quantity and the seller initiated quantity. Okay. Okay. So let me explain you what is this. No. So this can you see a orange spike here of thirty-two thousand eight hundred quantity? Yes. In buyer initiated the first. Okay. So it says that. Thirty-two thousand eight hundred quantity. The buyers have bought at the market price. Okay. So nobody has this data that who executed and how much quantity have executed at the it's, market price. Yes, yes. Right. 
Now the question is why this data is 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 necessary and why that how is data is useful. So if you place a order at market a limit price, limit price. So that means you are not sure that market will go up or not. So you will so let's say if the market is hundred rupees, you always place a limit order at. 95 and you will wait for the market to come down to that price right okay now let's say the price is trading at 100 rupees and you see the price move to 101 102 103 so what you will do you simply go and place the market order yeah. let's buy this okay. so you have a strong conviction that market that is like market to is that's why you are buying it <laughs> yeah. so understand this when you in itself have a that conviction let's say i have i give you that 1000 people have placed the market order right now Yeah, your conviction will yeah. get strong, right? Yes. Oh, so that's that's the thing we are doing here. Okay. Okay. But what we are doing is we are simply comparing this with the seller also. Is their sellers are also aggressive or not? No, sellers are not aggressive. So at that point of time, no. But there are some places where buyer and seller both are aggressive. We don't get anything. Okay. So we need to check is that is that happening or not? Okay. So what we need to do is we'll merge these two indicators to compare. Okay. Okay. So buyer initiated is basically a. Trade executed at a market price. That means okay. ask price. Okay. Okay. And seller initiated the trade executed at the market price for bid price. So sorry, w- once so, uh, seller seller initiated. Uh, so we have a order book, right? Yeah. We have bid and ask price. Yes, bid and ask so price. So if I am as a buyer buying okay. at a price, my order will get executed at the ask price. Yes, ask price. Right. Yeah. If a seller is executing the trade at market price, its its trade will executed at Bid price. Bid price. Yeah. Okay. Right? So yeah. it's same thing, right? It's showing you that data. How many people or how much quantity has bought at the market price? Okay. Just okay. to know the conviction, the okay. the aggressiveness. Yeah. Of even trade, right? we can get more confidence on that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now we'll merge these two indicators. Okay. I'll click on this, these three dots, and I'll move these two, you know, existing okay. pane below. Okay. Below. Now you can see they both are in the same panel, okay. but the scale is not equal here. You can see. Fifteen thousand in front of thirty thousand. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So we yeah. need to make them comparable. So I click right click here, merge okay. all the scale into right. Now they are on the same. Okay, scale. they both merge together, right? Huh, in the same scale also. Oh, right? okay, yeah. Now the now these uh columns are actually comparable. Yeah. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll change the color also. So let keep the sellers on the red red side. Okay? Yeah. So we can this easily is, see that, and we can change this into light. Okay, okay. line line chart. And then we can have a buyer that is green color, and we'll again change it to light. Okay. Okay. Now you can see we can easily compare. You know, we can see the spikes actually coming up. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we can see, see the spike. Yeah. Huh. Now we can see it. So how when the day started and how we can proceed further. So see, first of all, this is the first candle when market opens. So we'll not do for first ten fifteen minutes. We'll not do anything. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll wait for uh nine. Nine thirty, nine thirty. Yeah, even we'll even I will say nine thirty. Oh yeah. Ah, okay, so let's tra- take a trade after nine thirty. So okay. by nine thirty, we will see that market is actually started consolidating in this small range. Yes. Till this point, right? Yeah. Okay, market was consolidating. Right now, what happened when market give a break break up from here? Okay. So on this bar. Okay. Buyers are aggressive so, here. Yeah. So if you see the values, the buyers are thirty thousand and sellers are. Only sixteen. Sixteen thousand, yeah. So if the buyers are at least double of the sellers, we okay. can see that this breakout is likely to sustain. Okay, means Why? we have to see it double. At least minimum. At, at least okay, at least double. Right? Okay. Okay. So so what we need to do is we will not randomly pick up the spikes and take a trade. Okay. We'll wait for market to consolidate, okay. and when we'll get a breakout, we then only will take a trade. Okay, now okay. I got it. Okay. See what happened on this bar. What happened? So we got a good trade. Okay, on the breach of high of this bar, we'll take a buy a call option, ATM okay. call option. Okay, and see what happens after that. Market is continuously moving up. Okay. Yes. See, we didn't get any major fall. So you can plot a moving average also on this yes, twenty periods. Average. So I'm yeah. just 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 plotting just to you know. Yeah, I use twenty one moving average. Okay. So whatever the the. Yo, you know, traders feel they they get yeah. zero. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's subjective, right? Okay. Yeah. So once we have here, so we got an entry here. So at least somewhere here we'll get exit, right? Exit, yes. So Or we can exit at ten uh, thirty. 
10 30 10 30 no uh, that's here. that's a one candle close actually so yeah. even the market closes below this it doesn't break the low of that part oh, yeah okay okay so we okay, can, we, we can exit here it, yeah huh? so we can exit somewhere here okay that's a okay. first exit okay first exit now yeah. if you see it's a very small profit but that's okay because okay. we are doing a one minute scalping okay now see what happened this is a another consolidation yes another cons yeah. now see market again gave a break up yes right so here Forget about the quantities. You need to see that okay, buyers are high or sellers are high. So see, buyers are having a more quantity. Yeah. So again, we'll go and buy this call option here. Okay. And then we'll wait for the market to close. So here for be market doesn't close actually, right? You can see. Yeah. Again mm -hmm. moved up. So it's just giving me one bar closing and then again yes. moving up. Okay. So that's why I asked, let the market close below it, the full bar, and let it give an exit. Okay. So if you see here. <laughs> So what I wanted, let's say this candle is, this one bar is below the moving average. Moving average. If market break the low of this bar, we'll take this. We'll exit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm okay with it. I got it. Right, okay. Means so we'll stay in the trade. 315, we got an exit. Uh, exit 315. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There. Probably candle. somewhere here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or what you can do is, a lot of people use super trend in this case also. Yeah. Super trends. So if my market gives so if it is in buy trend stay in the trend if it is giving you have to take the exit simple oh, okay and you can see that so once market give started giving you sell it it actually cashed it okay you know? so you will eventually have a you will eventually have a you know uh the entry point here only defined see as soon as the market give you a breakdown below this so this is a consolidation actually you can see yes right and on this bar you got the entry actually but if you see the seller initiated quantity is not so high. Not At so least we need double, right? So we'll wait for it. We can check on the next candle. Again, it is simple. simple. On the next candle, not, not so good, right? No. But on this bar, we got this, right? We got, yeah. So that means as soon as the market will break the low of this bar, we'll go for a short entry. Okay. Right. And after that, actually, even we took the entry, we didn't actually exit it because it doesn't close above it. Yeah. And after that, see. So you will always capture those moves very easily uh, when we have a buyers being or sellers being aggressive in the market. Okay. Right. What is the issue with this particular thing is that you will not able to capture good moves when market is actually range bound. Okay. So it will keep on giving you multiple signals at okay, that's a problem. But... That's that remain problem with all the trend following indicators, right? Okay. So that's uh, that's a common thing. So, in my zone bond market, we can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah. So you can simply see here also yesterday. Also, you got one move here. You got exit yeah. here. Then again, you got one move here. So it's a good move, right? Okay. Yeah, so likewise, you can easily capture 40, 50 points in both Nifty and Nifty, right? Okay. With a very simple understanding, right? Okay. Just so, to see at what breakout the buyers are being aggressive and sellers being aggressive. So why, what is the help of this data is that? Nobody using this data. Nobody has this. Yes, no one has. So you have a you have this access to institutional level data, which basically help you to identify, you know, who is being very aggressive in the market. Right? And okay. based on this theme, you can place your trades. And these are only for useful for uh, intraday traders specifically. Intra okay, okay. Even uh, though I would not say intraday traders, I would say only scalpers, right? Yeah, so scalpers. We just, stay, Even, uh, we just wanted to stay for like 10, 15 minutes in the trade, not beyond. Uh, like me, I am a scalper. <laughs> Same the same way, right? Okay. So, what uh, uh, are you doing? Buyer initiated quantity, seller initiated quantity. I'm going to say simple way. In the market, lo one minute time frame, lo scalping is a lot of use. What do you mean? We have a market in the market. The market is in a zone. Lo. One minute, lo mostly zones are in the consolidation place. So, in the consolidation lo gaane, zone, the breakout is in the Buyer aggressive or seller aggressive or So, ante puru par suppose market order lock went ne puru market order lock Nifty lock achcha or bank Nifty lock achchi. Sudden go kudu padivel quantity buy jay sudden konde. Adi kar manak telus tade, which is very good. Padivel quantity market order lock door inde ante thanar do easy ka mere went ne mere buy chay inde apne ch target ok ten twenty points thirty points me ishto fifteen points ena much enough. Ne scalp jastan even we telso. So even three four points ke ne no. 
ట్వంటీ థౌసండ్ దాకా నేను ప్రాఫిట్ తీసుకున్న రోజులు ఉన్నాయి సో చాలా బెటర్ స్కాలబస్ కి మీకు ఇది డీటెయిల్ గా తెస్తాను బట్ ఇది చాలా బాగా యూజ్ అవుద్ది వినండి ఏం చెప్తున్నారో మీ ఏమైనా బుక్ లో కూడా రాసుకోండి మిగతా ఏదైనా నేను క్లారిఫై చేస్తాను నేను కొన్ని డౌట్స్ రాసుకుంటున్నాను అండ్ మీకోసం స్వింగ్ ట్రేడింగ్ రిలేటెడ్ కూడా వస్తాయి బట్ దిస్ ఈస్ చాలా యూస్ఫుల్ ఎందుకంటే ఇప్పుడు ఒక ఎక్కడ లేదు మెయిన్ ల్యాగింగ్ ఉండదు ఇండికేటర్ లో కాంటాస్ యాప్ లో దెర్ ఇస్ నో ల్యాగ్ ల్యాగింగ్ ఉండదు చాలా స్పీడ్ గా ఉంటాయి అప్ టు డేట్ సో విచ్ ఈస్ వెరీ గుడ్ దిస్ డేటా ఇస్ టిక్ బై టిక్ yes even i saw that uh, there is no uh, so, delay in the uh, so data is actually you always have a you know edge over it so by the time people are looking at three minutes data you always have that data that has already been actually okay. published in this chart right okay so it is better to use the data which is uh, so you will wait for three minutes and then you will analyze by the time you have already taken uh, the trade <laughs> so so this data is eventually helpful for uh, scalpers right and uh, you don't have to take every trade you just need to wait for that good time and where you have these kind of good spikes if you are searching for a whole day trades no sir then we will go in loss only we we have to better go for a proper trade and that is enough for the day exactly so even if that's why we have created this system yeah so there is no logic behind it if you talk about that why this spike comes here yeah. sometimes you will see the big spike comes at the end of a trade yeah that so is close i would say ha uh, so people say you know this data doesn't work because Uh, if you see you're picking up the wrong spike wrong uh, <laughs> why yeah. because see market was actually moving up since this point from morning yeah and you are catching the market at you know closing time <laughs> closing so, time. lot of people are getting trapped so people enter at this market at very late also okay right so if people are capturing this point that's not my problem right yeah that's so this a... this tool is actually telling you to okay go and take why you are not taking a trade somewhere here yeah right so if you are asking me why i am not capturing this point so this can be wrong right so always that's why i told you let the market give you a consolidation, consolidation. so if you have a consolidation if you get a breakout enter at that point of time right which is which is very better yes ha ah, and then stay in the trade yeah don't try to catch every spike if you catch this <laughs> spike you will definitely you know you have a stop loss right yeah. so so that's not uh, you know true that okay uh, this this data does not give you edge so you need to use it properly edge okay right? and yeah. the latency is like that by the time you place the order you receive a confirmation right yeah that order has been placed uh, this data will be actually you know will come here before uh-huh. that okay so okay it's it's it's, 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 better, it's even the very 0.6 uh, millisecond uh, latency it has oh so by the time you blink your eyes you will yeah it will come <laughs> yeah sure. yeah it, that's good so sir it's, yeah. it's, it's it's like that right okay. okay so these are the two good indicators for intraday trades right okay so i hope make part to clear ga ardham ayind anukuntan tool chaala baaga upayogapadaddi nenu guarantee cheptuna chaala baaga upayogapadaddi meeke so beginner landarki tool undali కొనుక్కొని వెయ్యి రెండు వేలు ఖర్చు పెట్టండి ఖర్చు పెడితే చాలా బాగా ఉపయోగపడుద్ది అండ్ సిరీస్ వస్తుంది చూడండి ఈ ఈ ఫోర్ డేస్ నేను ఊర్లో ఉన్నాను ప్రజెంట్ ఈ వీడియోస్ ఊర్లో ఉండి రికార్డ్ చేయాలి ఆల్రెడీ రికార్డ్ చేసి మీ కోసం ఉంటే అప్లోడ్ చేసి ఉంచాను డేట్ కి ఏ డేట్ కని చెప్తే ఆ డేట్ కి అప్లోడ్ అయిపోతాయి అనమాట ఆటోమేటిక్ గా సో నేను ఊర్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు ఛానల్ రీచ్ తగ్గిపోకుండా ఛానల్ వ్యూస్ తగ్గిపోకుండా ఈ వీడియోస్ వచ్చేస్తున్నాయి సో డైలీ అనాలిసిస్ నేను ఊరు నుంచి వచ్చాక లైక్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్త్ ఈవినింగ్ కల్లా వచ్చేస్తాను సో అక్కడ నుంచి డైలీ అనాలిసిస్ వచ్చేస్తాయి ఈ లోపల మీరు ఇవి మాత్రం కంప్లీట్ చేసుకోండి ఓకేనా సో ఛానల్ గారు ఫస్ట్ టైం వస్తే అప్పటికి వీడియోస్ చూస్తున్నాను ఎంజాయ్ చేస్తున్నాను థ్యాంక్స్